Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Grady Tech and in this video I'll be showing you how you can transfer all your data from your older phone to a newer phone, whether it's an Android phone to an Android phone or an Android to an iOS phone or an iOS to an Android phone in just few simple steps. Obviously there are multiple ways to do it, but in this video I'll be using a software from Wondershare that's Dr. Phone Switch. So this is a product page and you can download the software from here just by clicking this free download button. Once you install and open the application, this is what you'll be looking at. I'll be leaving a link for this software in the description, do check it out. By the way guys, these people at Dr. Phone are also doing a giveaway for the Samsung Galaxy S10. Here's that page. I'll leave a link for the giveaway as well in the description. Do check it out and stand a chance to win the Samsung Galaxy S10. Now coming back to the software, this is how the software looks like and now you need to click switch. So this is part of the Dr. Phone application suite and we are going to use this particular feature called switch to transfer all your data from your previous phone to your newer phone. So once you open it up, this is what you'll be looking at. Now you need to connect your two phones, whether it's an iPhone or an Android phone, just connect them. Now before you connect an Android phone, first you need to enable the developer options. For that, go to settings, then select about phone. In the about page, click the build number seven times to enable developer options. Now once you're done, go back a step and select developer options. In Xiaomi phones or Redmi phones running MIUI, you need to click on MIUI version number to enable developer options. Now once you've enabled developer options, you need to enter developer settings and then enable USB debugging. If you get a prompt, just click OK. Once again, on Xiaomi phones, you have to enable additional toggle that says install apps by USB. It will be right below USB debugging option. Now, once you've enabled USB debugging, connect your phone to your PC. For some reason, if you're not able to enable developer options, you can use the manual or instruction set from here. Let's say if you're using a Huawei device, just select it over here and you can see the instructions step by step. Similarly, if you have a Xiaomi phone, you can select Xiaomi and then just follow these screenshots. Now for an iPhone, it's much simpler. Just connect your phone to your PC and then it gets detected. Your iPhone will ask for two permissions. Just grant them and it will be connected. Now, if you look at the software, you can see that there is some kind of a problem going on. I'm not able to connect to my phone. By the way, I have connected an iPhone 10 and Huawei Nova 3i and for some reason it's not detecting. Now that's not actually the problem. So to fix that, first we need to select the correct phone. On the right side, iPhone has been detected, so there's no problem with that. But with Android phones, you need to select the particular Android phone. You have a drop down over here. Click that and select Huawei Nova 3i or the phone that you have connected. Now once you do that, you'll probably not see any errors. So guys, now both my phones are connected. On the right side, I have the iPhone and on the left side, I have the Huawei Nova 3i, which is an Android phone. So guys, now I can transfer all this data from an Android phone to an iPhone. That's contacts, messages, calendar events, call logs, photos, music files, and videos. So if I want to transfer all this data, I can simply click the start transfer button to start the transfer, or else I can choose to transfer whatever I want by just selecting these checkboxes. So let me just remove some. Now I'm gonna just transfer these things. Just click that button. Okay, this is a new thing. So guys, if you're trying to transfer anything to your iPhone, first you need to disable find my phone feature and then you'll be able to transfer. So let me just disable that. Now just click OK. And then data transfer should be done any moment. It took quite a long time to transfer all the data, so I just skip that part. Now let's say if you want to transfer any data from your iPhone to the Android phone, instead of reconnecting your phones, you can simply click this button that says flip to flip the phones. Now once you do that, iPhone will be on the left side and Android phone will be on the right side. Now you can transfer your data from an iPhone to Android phone. Once again, when you're trying to transfer any data from an iPhone to Android phone, these are the only things that you can transfer, including music files and video files. Now, if you're trying to transfer data between two Android phones, you will be able to transfer all this stuff. So for now, let's just transfer photos from the iPhone to Android phone. So let me just disable all of the stuff and then click start transfer. So as you can see, all the pictures from the iPhone are being transferred to Android phone. That's Huawei Nova 3i with just a click of a button. So guys, coming back to the phones, these are the pictures transferred from the iPhone to the Huawei Nova 3i. Now this software is really great, it's pretty simple and it's super convenient. 
but it just transfers everything from one phone to another. Now for some reason if you want to transfer only some contacts or some messages or some pictures then that can't be done. Maybe with a future update we might be able to do it. But as of now if you're looking for a simple solution to transfer all your data from your previous phone to your new phone or just between two phones, Dr. Phone Switch application can get it done pretty easily. So guys in this way we can easily transfer data between two phones whether they are Android phones or iPhones. So definitely check out this software from Dr. Phone. I'll leave a link for that in the description and definitely participate in the Samsung Galaxy S10 giveaway. So guys that's pretty much it for this video, thanks for watching. If you have any doubts comment below this video or tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and we will get back to you as soon as possible. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off, have a nice day.